All right, what's up guys? I uh, had to take a break. I had to go out of town for work, but now I'm back and it kind of sucked because I wasn't able to finish getting the axle in before I left. Uh, I ordered it from Subaru Parts Deal and I don't know, for some reason it took a long time for it to ship. So the, the axle didn't even arrive until after I was gone. Here's the axle. So I'm gonna open it up right now, compare it, compare it to the old one, the old dusted one. Uh, and then we'll throw it in. I've got a lot of stuff to do. I'm gonna try to be working fast. I wanna get I wanna get the axle in. I wanna change the bellows. I wanna change the front brakes. I wanna change the exhaust. Oh, oil. I didn't, I, I didn't do the oil, so I need to do the engine oil and also the transmission fluid. And I should, fingers crossed, we're gonna drive this thing today. All right, wish me luck. All right, so here's the new axle. And it's, it's the same. It's, these bands are blue, you know, we got that white stripe there, the markings on the boot match. Most Subaru um, CV axles, they'll be green right here. But I know the Baja is kind of a, a, an odd duck. If you look on parts stores, you know, they'll be, you'll find listings that say, oh yeah, this will work with the Baja. But I don't know why OEM has the Baja axle as being a unique axle. I don't know if that extends to the NA as well as the turbo, but I didn't want to take any chances because I've heard stories of, of people getting like bad vibrations uh, from takeoff, stuff like that. We're not going to experience that because we have the new axle. The other side axle, that matches. Uh, so it's going to be two OEM axles on the front uh, as well as the back. And yeah, I'm just, I'm glad I don't have to buy the other side axle as well because this thing, I think it was like $350 or something. Oh man. All right, well, let's, uh, Put it in. All right, so before I stick the axle in, I'm gonna clean up inside of here a little bit. I think while I was gone, I think my son came and put all the lug nuts on the car. I would have done the, the brakes while I was waiting, but I have the ball joint disconnected and it's all, you know, loosey goosey. So it's not really, not the best for tightening right now. Same thing with the tie rod end to get the, the bellows off. I didn't want to be working it with it while it was all loose. So when I get the, when I get the ball joint back in. Oh, and that's another thing I got. The ball joints out. I got, I bought two, I bought two new ball joints. So I'm going to replace the ball joints as well. So when I'm doing the bricks on that side, before I do it, I'm going to do the ball joint. Two new super ball joints in the front. I think that's pretty good. This brush is kind of smushed, but it still works. I thought I had purchased another set of brushes, but these things, these brushes just like picks, you know, it's, that's like the one tool that I can't keep track of. I always lose them. I, I don't, I've never lost a, well, actually I've lost 110 and I was pretty distraught over that. But for the most part, I, you know, I'm, I'm halfway decent to keep track of my tools. When, uh, when they were my dad's tools, I sure as hell wasn't like that because I, I didn't pay for them. And he would yell at me, oh, these tools are so expensive. Uh, you don't take care of my tools. And maybe my son will have the opportunity of me telling him the same thing one day because I've amassed quite a tool collection and I'd rather not have them lost. I stuck a rag in the cavity left by the axle. in an attempt to keep debris out. Oh, okay. All right, let's uh, let's give it a shot here. Oh man, yeah, it's a good, good thing I bought a ball joint because this ball joint got fucked now. Okay, I feel like this is gonna take me a little bit. Ow, fuck, that hurt. God bless, I'm glad I was wearing gloves. Ow, oh. ow, oh. I got it in. I caught my finger. Yeah, that sucker's in. Before going any further, I noticed there's a little bend right here on this metal flange behind the ABS ring. Don't think it matters, but I'm gonna go get some needle nose and just straighten that out real quick. I'm assuming that's like a, just a dust shield of some sort. 
All right, that's pretty straight. Okay. Oh, grease. Yeah, there was a tiny, there was a little tear. I'll show it to you right now when I get it up, but there was a little tear on the ball joint, and that's why I figured, well, and the ball joint wasn't, let me see how this feels. Yeah, it was definitely wasn't this tight. It was like, you could move it easily and it would straighten back out, but it was definitely what we say in a Spanish, a wow. So we think it's a 14 here. And with, with any luck, this ball joint will just slide out. All right, there's the bolt. I'm sure northern people are screaming at the screen right now. That's not fair. Why does it come out so easily for him? Well, it's not over yet, you know, because I still need to get this freaking ball joint out. And I think what I'm going to do, hmm, what am I going to do? Put it back in and yank up on it. Let's see. Let me get a pry bar. All right, yeah, it's coming. It is coming. It's got a... There you go. There you go. I'm not gonna get a short one, and I'm not farting. That's my shoe making that sound. All right, I'm gonna get this thing out off camera because it's gonna take me a little bit, I think. Uh, so stay tuned. Okay, I freaking got the ball joint out. It was a bitch. It was a, yeah, it was a bitch. I couldn't find my over the ear, ear pro. I got ear plugs, put the nut back on, put, on, put it back on the control arm and hit it with the hammer. And that got it out most of the way. And then, after that, I kind of just walloped it from the side and I was able to get it out. But yeah, you can see it wasn't this torn before. It, it tore from hitting against the control arm. It had a little hole in it and that's why I was like, well, let me change it. Here's the new one. And yeah, it's, I can't move this, you know, look, I can move this one freely. This one, I, I can't. I got the wire brush cleaned off the inside where the where the ball joint slides in. Bitch. Oh, man, I can't turn this thing. I'm gonna have to get this thing turned. Jeez. <laughs> Golly. I don't want to be too rough with it because it's brand new, but. <laughs> All right, let me get this in, and then when I'll show you how I got it in. <laughs> okay, I got the freaking ball joint in. It wasn't that hard. I just, uh, I basically landed up in the hole and then tapped it up with the, with the dead blow. Well, once it was, once it was in the, in the holder, I was able to, you know, move the ball joint easily because something was gripping on the other side. So I got it in the control arm. I'm gonna tighten the bolt that holds the ball joint in, and then I'm gonna tighten the castle nut. I'm gonna have to run down to the park, park store and buy some carter pins. Thought I had some, but I'm out. I'm gonna go look up the torque specs for that before I take it apart. I've got the axle nut in. I don't wanna, do I wanna just send it with this? No, I'm gonna go get a half inch, half inch drive ratchet first, bring it down and then look up the torque spec for that also. Uh, so once that's in, I can do this, get the bellows off, put the new bellows on, change the brakes, and then this side will be done. That side, ball joint and brakes. Ball joint should be faster because I know what to do now, hopefully, and that'll be it. All right, so let me bring you guys in at the end here because I'm trying to work fast. Once this is done, oil transmission, exhaust, and I'm gonna drive this thing. I'm gonna drive it today. All right, let's do it. Let me give you an update. The, I can't get the freaking lock nut off this this freaking tie rod i torched it i freaking did everything trying to change out the bellows because i can't get i can't get the clamp past the nut 
and I doubt I'll get the bellows past the nut without destroying the new one. Uh, so I have tie rods for it, um, some Mevotex, and I was debating putting them on because the old ones were solid, but I think I'm gonna have to change it out. Oh, f man, this sucks. I'm stuck. I can't get this past the nut. Even if I could tear this off and get the new one over the nut, the new bellows, I can't get the new bellows past this. I could cut it off and put a hose clamp maybe, but will I do that? Uh, no, no. I held this with a freaking, oh, fuck, that's hot. I held it with a with a wrench and I sat, I sat on this thing, sanding it with my impact. It didn't come off, dude. And it's, it's because it's all wobbly. You know, it's hard to, it's hard to kind of hold it and try to s send it with a, you know, with a breaker bar or something. All right. Let me try with a breaker bar. Let me try with a breaker bar and see what I can do. But if not, I'm, I'm changing out the tie rods. But this stuff got done. I just need to get the cotter pin, like I said. I torqued that down to 30. This torqued it down and nice and pretty again. Fuck, man, I was hoping I could get this thing done today. I need to. I can still do it. That won't take me long. It's not too much longer. Moving as fast as I can. Got the tie rod out. That sucker is stuck, that nut. So yeah, changing tie rods. These are Mevotech Supremes. Then they look pretty good. I mean, they're, they're, they're pretty beefy. And I mean, it's probably better. It's probably better I change them because this one, I mean, you can see it's kind of floppy. And this one, I mean, it's it's... It's good and tight. It's very tight. Maybe it'll improve. Well, I know it'll improve the steering feel. And luckily, since that is welded there, I can easily get a gauge of how long uh, my, old, my old tie rod end was. Uh, so I can measure that against against the old one, install the new one, and, and then we'll be good to go. All right, so let me finish up here. I got the brakes and everything off, so I just got to throw the new rotor on, new pads in, press the pistons back in, and the, this side will be finished. All right, now I'm got, I gotta work fast, and that's so I can get the other side done. Maybe I can drive today, let's see. Okay, fucking exhausted. I was like busting my ass trying to, trying to get this shit done, and I got one side done, and I just finished the ball joint on the other, on the other side, I'm just going to torque down the castle nut, put the new cotter pin in, and then the ball joint will be done. Other side, I'm going to do inner and outer tie rod end, and then the brakes, and then the rest of the stuff I needed to do, which is oil, transmission fluid, and the exhaust. So this is where we're at now. Akibono, front brakes. Uh, these Duratec with this black coating that looks nice. Inner and outer tie rod end new. Axles new. Ball joints new, new cotter pin there, and yeah, this side's done. Uh, it would have been a lot faster if this freaking nut on the old one wasn't seized, but you know, <laughs> whatever. I've already had so many setbacks here. Uh, new bellows, nice and pretty. I have new bellows for the other side as well, so it's, the other side is gonna do the same thing, inner and outers. Ball joints already done on the other side. Um, I'm gonna go over there and torque it right now. I was really trying to go fast, man. I've been working on this all day and I've hit the limit, so. I'm tired, it's hot outside. I'm gonna finish torquing that down, finish the rest maybe tomorrow after work. Brakes are easy, tie rod, that can go either way. Uh, all right, so thanks for watching, guys. I didn't get to drive today. But I'm so damn close. I can taste it. I'm I'm almost there. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching. You can come check out the Discord, uh, colorcarfeed.com, and uh, Baja Fan 69 or Baja Fan 420. You know, when I think about you winning the car, it, it makes it all worth it. Uh, so thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.